So the weather's fined up quite nicely. I thought today would be quite a good day to cut some more holes in the side of my van. That's always a lot of fun. And this one I've cut is for the uh, shore power hookup connection. Um, so that's the little unit there that um, accepts the uh, shore power hookup when we're in a campsite. And um, I made a little template of the rear of that to get the shape right. Uh, drilled a couple of holes and then used my um, jigsaw with a good sharp new metal blade to um, make the cutout. So that went pretty well and you can see there I've also drilled the four holes to take the uh, four holes at the corners of the hookup. Um, a friend of mine put me onto these drills or these drills drill bits and that's called a um, step drill. Started off using conventional drill bits and I realized that that's pretty useless. These things are absolute gold. You've even got some markings down the side there that tells you the depth and all you do is start with a small hole and if you keep pushing it further and further in you'll get a larger hole. Uh, it is a really good um, invention and it makes light work of this um, sheet metal this thin sheet metal that's uh, on the side of the van so I won't ever use a conventional drill bit again to drill a hole I will use these um, step drills I bought a whole set of these so I've got different sizes but they are just brilliant and um, as I said, this light sheet metal that's on the van, it just cuts through it like it's butter. I put a little bit of hammerite around the edges there just to protect the raw edge from uh, any corrosion. So I'll let that hammerite dry a little and then I'll put some um, Sikaflex on the inside and the outside of the hole and then screw in the uh, connection for the 230 volt hookup. So um, that one's gone pretty well. The next one to do is the uh, hole which is towards the front for the uh, Truma exhaust. Um, so uh, as you can see, the toilet shower unit is now all completely framed up. Uh, all the water pipes are in place. Toilet's in place, just needs to be attached and the gas uh, hooked up to it. And um, my electrics on this side of the uh, van are coming along quite nicely. On the other side, I've now completed the framework for the bed. So the beds, uh, the two beds that butt up together will sit on top of that framework. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll be able to put those in and see if it all works probably tomorrow. It's going good. <laughs> 